Hey guys, so uh, I was playing with this today, having some fun with that, and uh, you know I watched a couple of the uh, videos in Ukraine where they are basically weaponizing these things. So, like I said, um, they're dropping bomblets. This is a mini, okay, a mini two. Very, very small. I mean, literally, when it's folded up, it's no bigger than the palm of my hand, right? So this thing wasn't meant for that type of stuff. You know, burn up or overheat the motors, things like that, you know? Um, but it's nice to know what the capabilities of this thing are. So when it comes to what can this carry as a mini drone under 249 grams or under 250 grams? So... I know, I don't have any uh, fishing weights, one ounce fishing weights, so I'm using these. <laughs> These are one ounce 12 gauge shotgun slugs. They're probably over an ounce overall weight, right? Because just the lead, the lead slug in there itself is one ounce, plus you have the plastic and the brass and the the load and, and everything else. So it's probably, I don't know, maybe one and a quarter ounces. So we'll, we'll go with that. Anyways, it's just a consistent way of measuring, guys. Don't, uh, you know, don't get any uh, dark ideas. But, like I said, um, I'm going to see how many ounces of weight this thing can carry. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do is just hang a little uh, sandwich bag from the bottom of it with a hook and a rubber, band, a rubber band around the center of it. And I'm gonna start off with two weights. So, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna have to switch over to my GoPro. Uh, so the video quality and the sound quality is gonna be different than what you're seeing right now. So I have to use my phone to uh, fly it with the controller. So, all right, let's uh, get it out in the yard, get the bag attached and uh, get this thing up in the air with two of these shotgun shells and we'll go from there. All right, so there it's ready for takeoff in the bag with two one ounce shotgun shells. No, again, I'm not looking to do anything nefarious with shotgun shells. They're just what I had to uh, make sure that the weight stayed consistent. So, all right, here we go. Let's lift off with two uh, shotgun shells. Oh, it definitely can uh, lift two shotgun shells. All right, so now there's three in the bag. Let's see if we can lift three. Lift those two pretty easily. That seems to be doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's getting dark, I know. I decided to do this late, but still having some fun. All right, I'm just gonna drop another one in it while it's sitting here like this. All right, there's four in there. Four ounces, still holding strong. Four, let's go five. Oh, I'm gonna hold it for a minute. Five shotgun shells. All right, let's do six. Seems six is the, uh, five is the magic number. I mean, I bet you if I applied more power, I can get it to lift off with six in there, but five seems to be good. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I can get it to fly. 
I'm probably gonna really burn through some batteries with six of them. So five, five seems pretty comfortable to fly with. All right, well, here we have it. Wow, it is just a gorgeous night. <clears throat> so, conclusion, this thing is not only good for tactical type reconnaissance, um, hikers, campers, anybody can throw one of these in their backpacks or go bags. You buy one of those uh, cell phone size solar charger, you can even charge the batteries on these things. So you won't be without power. And again, they run without uh, internet and all that crap too. So, But it's nice to know that uh, this little guy right here that really doesn't have a lot of restrictions because you don't have to register this one with the FAA. Um, because of its size so but uh yeah that's that's a whole nother story but anyways something that small that can carry about five ounces of weight comfortably four probably really comfortably uh without really eating up your battery but five if you really had to it can lift six but you've seen it was struggling so like i said having something like this now I've had all kinds of flying toys before, and that's what they were, toys. Uh, this is probably your entry-level professional drone. So, like I said, these DJI, uh, and I'm not promoting them, uh, none of that, but like I said, I've had numerous toy drones, um, and uh, they, they just don't hold up. They don't have the capabilities that this thing does. So, and again, uh, you can watch my other video on uh, this drone and uh, decide for yourself, but uh, they're weaponizing these things, and they're all over the skies in, uh, in Ukraine right now, so I'm not uh, promoting us weaponizing them here, but it's nice to know the capabilities of how much weight something like this can carry, because it could be as simple as a walkie-talkie to get a walkie-talkie to somebody, you know, or postage, you know, some mail or something. You never know. So, but, uh, <laughs> yep, pretty cool. Impresses me every time I play with it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, keep watching, keep subscribing, and keep liking the videos. Thanks, guys. <laughs>